last lot of action. Okay, morning folk, well, sorry, good afternoon. <laughs> Two o'clock in the afternoon, live from London Heathrow. Hope you're all doing well. Sat round the whatever, uh, eating whatever. Um, hopefully no family arguments today. Family food! Um, but uh, yeah, hope you're all having a great day and enjoying your Sunday, as you probably rightly deserve. Um, okay, first in we got, uh, well, first up we're gonna bring in is this uh, A330 Delta. A330 from Salt Lake City, folks. Um, we are on 09 arrivals once again. Now, we are expecting around about four o'clock this afternoon, in a couple of hours, uh, some seriously heavy rain. Um, whilst others run for cover, we don't do any of that. I'm all prepped, I've got all my wet weather gear, I'm warm enough, in fact I'm actually sweating at the moment, I'm so bleeding hot, I've got so many layers on. I haven't actually got so many, I've got this, this and the other one, shows how good these are, doesn't it? Um, but uh, yes, uh, 09 arrivals, the wind is sort of like switching a little bit, it's on a kind of like a, a southerly at the moment, um, but it is going to switch around to sort of like swirling, we're hearing around about 26 knot gusts a little bit later on. So we're going to see some excitement, that's for sure. And uh, the great thing is as well, we're a little bit further down the roof, so we get to see the reversers in action, uh, literally, um, as they open the reversers and we can look, look at and discuss all the different, well, all the different, there are really mainly only two different types of reversers. Um, and we will, uh, we will have a look at that, along with all the other stuff. So let's get on with the show, sit back, enjoy it, open up your flight radar apps, and let's uh, see what's coming in. I want you to tell me what's coming in and even going out, what's on radar. Um, any other news that you want to throw at me, uh, feel free to do so. Engineering, technical, uh, everything you want to do, uh, I don't mind it at all, as much as you like. And if I miss your comment, please don't feel upset. It's just because I'm obviously scanning the field, looking on the camera, finding what's coming in and all those kinds of things and so the, the chat is going even though it's members only chat it is going pretty fast so I do apologize uh, just keep talking because uh, it's good to talk um, so let's get on with the show <laughs> not anymore she ain't 100 They let those throttles off. A cold stream. Nice. Albeit a short burst, enough to. Uh, probably all in programmed on the uh, flight management system which is the onboard computers of the aircraft uh, to break to vacate so all that all that um, sometimes it's all manually operated uh, sometimes the brakes uh, will operate a brake to vacate maneuver which basically means that the brakes will know exactly at which point that pilot wants to uh, vacate the runway uh, and apply the necessary braking power How are we all doing, folks? Hope you're well. What's up, GP? Oh. From San Jose, next in. Okay, so, just have a little look. What's going on there? Let's keep an eye on that. Doesn't look like an exercise type. Uh... Always very normally derated with BA and their uh, Dreamliners. In fact, BA and any aircraft, to be honest. I think they, uh, plan is to keep the um, 
maintain those engines for as long as they can. It's like driving at three quarter speed really with your motor vehicle. Well, now this is interesting, GP. We have got uh, three uh, appliances that are now. Uh, in fact, we now have uh, another one, uh, which looks like one of the fire chiefs. Hold on a minute, we've definitely got an issue. We definitely have an issue. Um, there is definitely some kind of, uh, I wouldn't say emergency, all the aircraft are still in the stack. But uh, we definitely have something, something amiss. All the aircraft are still in the stack. I don't think those sirens that you're hearing there are related. I don't think so. That's a, that's a police van that's uh, making its way up. That's police vehicles. So this is interesting, isn't it? Obviously uh, holding their position at this moment in time. usually guaranteed that we either uh, so many things going on yeah that's something unrelated I, I believe as this uh, as this Delta jet may be called in just to say uh, he's a bit concerned or no those other two um, units okay so we have uh, stand by let me just jump on my comments here so it looks like Iran Air aren't going to be uh, making an appearance at London Heathrow for foreseeable future That uh, uh, has a rat. Seven three sevens. It was a bit of a miss here, there, Jenny, because I thought I honestly thought he said using seven two sevens. I wasn't going to really question you on that. <laughs> Oh, by the way, folks, just to let you know that we have, um, we have, uh, we're at the final stages of um, getting this information, uh, these images that we want from um, one of our members who has got a, uh, from 1977, uh, I think it's June, June to, um, is it, uh, well, anyway, it's a few months of um, airside photography from, I think it's from the Queen's building, um, maybe some other stuff as well, but uh, primarily from the Queen's building, which we're very, very um, excited to see. He's, uh, he's, he's basically documenting them all now or, or, or putting them in order. Rick Van Nort. Uh, Rick Van Nort, landings moved to other runway. British Airways 2823 might be in it. Oh, they switched runways. Oh, so they have. Uh, okay, so we have an issue with this 320 that's on approach, folks. That's what they have switched runways. Thank you, Rick Van Nort. Julia Kirkman. Uh, Boho Jane, good afternoon, Jetters. Matt Jones, good afternoon. Uh, Rab H. Cat. Cat saying thank you to whomever gifted me my membership. Isn't that a wonderful thing? So, yeah. Uh, wow. So, this is obviously a technical issue of some description. I wouldn't imagine that it would be um, 
can see there. Wow, that's... Very high in the stack. Okay, here comes our aircraft with what appears to be an issue. Let's have a little look out and see if we can notice anything that uh, looks like a, one of their older 320s, a CEO with IAE engines. Slats are extended, flaps are good, I think, are they? Or is he coming in a little bit hot there? Or has he got loss of... Uh... Yeah, no. Everything's good there, I think. Flaps are extended. Heavy on the brakes. Looks like it's, everything's working properly. Ground spoilers activated. Maybe just a um, something that's uh, yeah, they're all moving up to it. No, I, think, I think they're all moving up to it. Yeah. Jensen emergency videos. This is one for you, Jensen. So they will now uh, probably park the, the aircraft on a remote area someplace and um, or maybe just on that taxiway and uh, visually inspect. So some of those um, some of those emergency vehicles now. Uh, starting to oh wow fumes on fumes on the flight deck okay that's never a good thing is it would they have had to have um does that mean the uh emergency masks would have been deployed i wonder Alistair McLean, Sam Robson, Roger Norsworth. Okay, so we've got. Uh, okay, so we're back in uh, back in operations on the northern runway now. Uh, just had a couple of um, probably created a little bit of a. Uh, normally, it's one of the um, one of the smaller vehicles, um, one of these guys that comes up and does a. Uh, so now they're on the ground; they can do it. They can run checks and so on and so forth but uh, as it stands at the moment looks like they're down safe obviously um, but these things obviously can you know become a bit of an, itch, an issue uh, it, it, with with anything anything any burning or anything like that any smells like that that might occur um, during flight uh, something that's unusual especially you know electrical smells burning electrical smells and wiring and so on and so forth um, obviously that's something but fumes invisible by the sounds of it so they're on a bit of a a bit of a standoff at the moment as you can see vehicles still holding their position So they're waiting, I'm guessing, now at this point in time for the pilots to uh, troubleshoot, possibly, whilst they're now they're on the ground uh, and see whether or not, uh, probably asking the cabin crew as well whether or not the fumes are in the cabin as well, um, whether they're more in the flight, whether they come through from the cabin to the flight deck. Obviously, um, the door is permanently locked, so uh, it's quite sealed off. So that may have been circulating through the uh, the aircon systems. Who knows? Um, one of the vehicles. Okay, now the vehicles are starting to move away. Yeah. Looks like we're all good. Aircraft now.
so don't let the uh, all this beautiful sun and at the moment warmth uh, fool you folks this could potentially uh, turn into a bit of a crazy afternoon once these uh, once this heavy rain reaches us hey who you knows it may not even happen okay be um, Virgin Atlantic I'll tell you what old BA can't be very happy right at the entrance to uh, to the to Terminal 5 is a big um, a, a, a new big poster by um, Qatar and it says uh, fly fly the world's favorite airline didn't uh, didn't BA used to have that um, the world's favourite airline. Uh, Alistair McLean, good afternoon. Uh, Andy Pete, Mirrors, uh, Leroy, Andreas Krugel. Uh, uh, TCC 17th Mustang. Austrian Kangaroo, good night. So now. No, no, it's fine. So everything looks to be uh, stable in the cockpit. They're happy. Well, obviously not happy, but uh, a bit of a scare for the uh, for the customers. But hey, you know what it is. It's uh, one in a million. See a uh, Virgin jet going from this side of T3. Connor, there's a triple seven on radar, and it's not got an airline photo. Okay, where's that? Uh, Paul Skilling. Paul Skilling. Paul Skilling. BA380 doing an RTO on zero nine right. Really? No? Yes? <laughs> so they're still following that aircraft. Oh dear. Oh really? Okay, so yeah, thank you Paul. BA380 uh, has... Um, a Brandon plane spotter, they are now line, landing 09 right. They were Bra Brandon, maybe I'm a bit of way back. Fumes on flight deck, full emergency, emergency services, proceeding, Jensen, emergency videos. Thank you, sir, or madam. Sandy Humphrey, big P, Clyde Clark. Alan Robbins, southern runway, oops. <laughs> okay, so. So they've still got um, a, 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 an escort, which is quite interesting. Maybe um, okay, escorting it to gate, which is kind of just precautionary, I would imagine, at this stage, just to make sure that. Uh, Everything's good. And imagine they'll have that uh, walkway readied very quickly. Get those passengers off. Okay, interesting. Thought he was going left there. Not the nor not the usual sort of uh, spot. Has to be said. So Thompson, Daniel Hill, BA380, uh, XLEB, had an RTO, and heading back to gate. Interesting. I wonder what that was uh, as a result of. Is that a technical issue, possibly? I mean, 
an RTO is an RTO is literally what we're talking about here is he started moving and then uh, and then uh, aborted the takeoff so um, meaning that it was more than likely a um, a technical issue I would imagine so maybe as the pressure was building in the engines something went pop or uh, or uh, he lost pressure somewhere maybe it happens Andy Williams uh, saying that that um, Saudi 787 used a full length for landings okay thank you for that sorry I missed that Heading to Denver, Colorado. That 350. Cole Hanlon, can, the cabin can be vented to the outside once the aircraft has landed indeed uh, because of um, all the depressurization. Gotcha, thanks. So we've got some low cloud here. So we might get some, some decent seventeenth Mustang. Yes, very true indeed. Uh, the problem with uh, obviously someone was was discussing evacuating the aircraft. Well, obviously, if it, if the cabin was 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 full of smoke and there were real issues, then uh, they would have done that. Um, and, uh, and 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 as he rightly says, you know, the, the, sometimes the problem is that, you know, uh, you got passengers running around all over the gaff, um, and very selfish ones uh, who uh, decide to go into the overhead cabin, uh, overhead compartments, and uh, try and retrieve their baggage, uh, thereby slowing everybody down and uh, causing real difficulties for the cabin crew. Uh, if you're a cabin crew, you've got to be really, really stringent with these people. Leave all your personal long belongings behind. Obviously, you know if you've got a, you've got some kind of a handbag around your neck or something like that, then you know even that should really be um, uh, left because that can cause complications on the slide. You know you need to consider all these things, and of course um, you can always go back and retrieve it later, but you can't go back and retrieve your uh, your, your, your life, can you? Uh, so, just give it up for for a certain amount of time and get off the plane, disembark. Oh, look at that, 767 with the Iceland Air, nice. They've only painted their Maxis so far, haven't they, I think, haven't they? Oh yeah, 757 with the black, yeah, that's right, yeah. Anything on approach behind me, GP? Wow, it's quite low cloud, man. That's that cloud base, folks. So we've got, uh, oh my good God. Okay, so that's interesting. Is that the, uh, is that the 380 there? What did it say, what was it? LEB, yeah? That's him, is it? Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Because uh, he hasn't sort of come back to gate, has he? It's going to take quite some time to, uh, to... Oh, he's coming back in here, isn't he? He's going to go back in there. Oh, no, he's not. Where's he going? 
an interesting uh hey hold on a minute oh no he is uh yeah no he is this side let's make a left turn Clyde Uh, string bean living here in the US for some time open wire to carry on bags everything but the kitchen sink yeah incredible H is a returning member welcome back oh no actually H has uh, upgraded to first class thank you H lovely to see everybody here uh, Austrian bringing in their uh, standard um, 320 not their new Neo Iceland Air? No, 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 767, you got the United 767s. Oh, non-US carrier, yeah, oh yeah, definitely, I would have said, yeah, yeah. Is that Uzbekistan one still still uh, active? Is it still active? Because they've got a 321 Neo, haven't they, Uzbekistan, haven't they? Has that perhaps replaced that 767? See, Sarah Joe, what happens if you've got your meds in the overhead locker and it's an emergency? Mm, yeah, uh, good question. Um, well, to be honest with you, Sarah, uh, if you need your meds right there and then, oh, I don't know, man, I, I don't know. It's a, that's one of those either or questions, isn't it? You know. Yeah, I'd, I'd carry it with you at all times. I'd carry it with you at all times, a handbag or, or in a, uh, you know, um, you don't want it stuffed in your, uh, I mean, obviously if there's a lot of medi medication, it's just a, it's a complicated question, isn't it? But the bottom line is that if you jump out of your seat and you're opening up that overhead compartment and you're halfway down the aeroplane, um, you are holding everybody up behind you, um, especially if you're trying to get into your bag to retrieve your medication um, and, uh, or, um, or getting into the bag to retrieve it or retrieving the bag in itself. Um, so it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? But here's that BA380 that did an RTO. That's very interesting that he's coming all this way around. Are they perhaps just uh, going to have a little circle around? What's that? Private 320. Oh, it's a. Um, tip ribbons there vortex coming off the wing tips there nice whoa nice cloud busting so interesting let's follow this 380 for a little bit see what's going on there Stephen Gill welcome to Big Jet TV Stephen Gill used to race mountain bikes not against a bloke called Steve Gill, but uh, I don't think it was spelt the same way anyway. Caroline Tapp, welcome back to Big Jet TV. Uh, Dylan McTurk, good afternoon to you. Um, Mary Ann, Jack Van Dix. Uh, Jack Van Dix, would I be right in saying the Iceland are the only non-US airline excluding cargo operating the 767 in Heathrow? Well, yes, as we were just discussing and Jilly brought up the Uzbekistan 767 which we haven't seen for quite some time and I was mentioning how perhaps the 321 Neo their new 321 Neo what's not so much new anymore is it uh, Leroy 747-8 two out two and a half hours out folks we might want to track that this one is uh, it's coming in from Dubai and it originated in was it Hong Kong GP I think it originated in Hong Kong uh, I think this is possibly carrying electronic goods. Um, 
obviously dropping off in Dubai and then um, and then uh, and then yeah you see they are definitely sitting there trying to troubleshoot a technical issue I think which isn't very good for the passenger is it? Ulster Aviator good afternoon I really enjoyed Jerry and Jilly's chat with the guy from LA a few days ago it was great to hear the story of Big Jet TV thank you Ulster Aviator uh, Charlie Prevost is a returning member. Welcome back, Charlie. Charlie. Uh, Emirates 380 in 18 minutes. Let's just have a check on Flight Radar 24 and see if we can track that 747, folks. Stephen Gill. Oh, wow, really? Uh, let me just do that. Oh, my goodness me. Nick Gray. Uh, a wonderful gesture. Thank you, Nick. Gifting 50 Big Jet TV memsies. That's... That's a, that's, that's a hell of a, um, a gift, uh, Nick. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, of course, if you have been gifted a membership, it will come up. It will notify you, you that you've been give, gifted a membership. Please come in and say thank you very much indeed uh, to whomever gifted you that membership. So, um, uh, sorry, you know who's gifted it. So just say thank you. So we got now we've got ambulances. Uh, is this perhaps a medical? Uh, with this 38, you soon see if he turns left or not. They are turning left. Okay, so uh, now what's going on? Oh no! Hold on a minute. That, those no, that 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 though no, it's not. Those ambulances are going to that 320 for obviously um, in inhalation of fumes. Um, just checking a couple of uh, passengers. Um, and we wish them well. Robert Ford. Joanna Weston. Graham Laidlaw, Nick Gray, thank you very much for the gift. Isn't that a fantastic thing? Nick Gray. Uh, looking forward to seeing Jerry and Jilly in Boston next week. It is uh, Nick, that's wonderful. Look forward to seeing you too, sir. Uh, we'll be all over the place, obviously. Uh, we're not sure exactly what our positions are going to be at the moment, but you'll be able to track us and keep uh, keep um, an eye on where we are. Uh, and if we are at the at either either end of one of the runways, which is it's a great lineup, isn't it? Great morning lineup. Peter Freena, never a dull moment. Chad Bud has got his star. Congratulations, Chad. Karina Roebuck. Richard the Lionheart, 12. Upgraded his membership to first class. That's very kind of you, Richard the Lionheart. Of course, don't forget, folks, because we are back on European shows now, um, next week we'll be uh, at Boston will be all first class of course we will do we will do our uh, now customary uh, two hours of free view of which of course our um, our premium members uh, will um, will be uh, able to come in and chat with me and that will be great to uh, to chat with you guys uh, CX-7 is the jumbo inbound as racer 321. Uh, AZ racer, I think that is. Uh, Lynn Kingholm. Nico, A7MHH, private 319, lining up for uh, takeoff. Yes, that was the, uh, I think that was maybe, is that that uh, Sky Premier, Sky Premium or whatever it is, Sky, Sky um, uh, Private Operator in again, I don't know. Paul Skilling, Vienna, Nan. Thank you for the membership, really appreciate it. Rockstar, Paul 69, Magma 747 over Reading should be visible any second. Uh, we've got Broken Cloud. Okay, I've got a 380 on approach, folks. Not gonna miss this one. Uh, Dylan McTurk, good friend of mine, has just joined on the 380, uh, BA380 from EasyJet. I asked him what the difference is like. He said to me, it's basically a massive 320 in terms of handling. Yeah, well, that's what um, my, um, my nephew told me, or um, or uh, is it is it my uh, if it's my niece's husband? Who's that? 
anyway, uh, my niece's husband basically uh, went from the 318 to the 380. And as we were discussing the other day, it's much the same. Very easy to transition from the little one to the big one. Uh, it's just literally about taxiing it, I'm guessing, and landing it and operating it in general because it obviously is just a massive aeroplane. Here we go, inbound reverses. Stabilizers at the back just flexing with all the uh, the dirty air that's coming off those reverses and of course even more um, because of the uh, the ground spoilers as well kicking up all that creating all that turbulent air that's why they flex so much of course under the brakes as well but not so much with the brakes Still sitting there, that 380. Beautiful. Denver, Colorado. Just saw that taxiing out. It's a shame we've missed the, uh, the turn. Oh, is this the um, FIFA World Cup? Nick, you've just uh, gifted membership to a retired aerospace engine. Uh, was it aerospace engineer? Did you say, Julie? Machinist. Nice. Making bits and bobs. Here's one for you, Julie. Julie. <laughs> Hello, mate. <laughs> so, still. Uh, 747 got a clear clear shot over the over, over the top of me oh he's just jumping on the lens <laughs> Sorry. Craig Wharton upgraded to first class thank you Craig uh, Philippa Corrigan is a new member welcome Philippa great to see all you new members get involved in the chat folks please do don't feel shy Vicky Denning uh, Tim Rotunda uh, so what you're saying is all dirty air makes it a dirty bird there we go uh, for a very short period of time uh, pontificate the pontificate thanks very much to whomever gifted me one membership not sure who it was how can I tell that but thank you anyway I think it was Nick um, I think that was Nick Gray my friend uh, pontificate um, Pontificate, sorry. Caton Triple Seven World Cup livery, Paul Skilling, thank you. Uh, Holly saying, yuck, not liking, okay. Puss in Boots, very. Uh, World Cup delivery looks good. That's coming from uh, Puss in PJs. Toby Fuck 15, uh, that's my favourite livery. There we go. Foxy B upgraded membership to first class. Oh, hello, here we go. I think they're giving up. I think they've given up. Look, oh dear. Now, how are they going to disembark that aircraft? They're going to have to get everybody down from the top deck because they haven't obviously got any uh, top deck walkways over there. What's that, GP?
Oh, Anthony Kidd asking, oh, let me just get this start up. important part of our uh, whole being, to be honest with you. Steve Parker upgraded to two first class. Jessica Rainbow. You did brilliantly on the podcast, Chili. Next time, a little less Jerry, a little more Chili. Oh. <laughs> if you kept me started, it's like a wind-up doll, isn't it? Jeremy Smith, afternoon, all every anchor Dreamliner due in 28 minutes. One of the original Screamliners. David Bowman, congratulations on the podcast. Yeah, getting a lot of feedback about that podcast, so thank you, folks. Really appreciate it. It was a pleasure to speak to, to Kevin. James Wertel, welcome to First Class Membership. Going slightly mad. Is that me who's just joined? <laughs> Andy Williams, they'll have to fetch another 380 for maintenance. Well, first thing they've got to do is, they've got to get that. That's a, that's a crazy, that's a crazy situation. I wonder if the cab, if the captains come over the, um, the, uh, the, the, the onboard tannoy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're just going to taxi to a remote stand for a couple of minutes. We've got the uh, maintenance chaps coming out. Uh, like, if you could all bear with us for uh, about 20 minutes, uh, and we'll uh, have that all checked out, and then we'll hopefully get you on your way. Uh, apologies for any inconvenience. Help us off to crisps and uh, Coca-Cola. James Wertel tuning in from the United States of America. James, you'll be joining us next week in Boston, my friend. Paul G. Okay, Paul G saying that it was interesting to know how Jerry and Jilly got, got, came to know each other. <laughs> By chance, and my goodness me, what a, what a, what a, what a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if it was a fluke, mate. I think it might have eventually happened. Uh, B Chapel, welcome to first class uh, membership, B Chapel. Yeah, sorry for blasting anyone's ears there. J Manx 72. Sue Cruz just frightened the dog. Ollie, Joe Thompson. <laughs> Sorry, Sean Connery, Sammy. Well, of course. Sean. That's going to be a. Uh, I wonder if they are going to be. Um, have we got anything? Have they perhaps? Is it maybe? Uh, is it something that can be checked from the ground? In other words, a, uh, a wing uh, check or... Um... They were obviously sat there for quite some time before they made their decision.
uh, John Farrell. Uh, John from Ireland, brilliant to watch every week. That's fantastic, John. That's what people love to do, isn't it? Watch every week uh, because um, we're good like that. Regardless of um, what the conditions are or uh, anything, we will uh, we will always strive to bring you aviation, live stream aviation from around the world. And of course, in February next year, we're hoping uh, to be heading to Narita, folks. That's going to be a first time for us. So this guy probably going to make a, a right-hand turn. Oh, no, he's going left. Nice bank shot. Drag something out of that cloud, man. Beautiful. We've got something, we've got a twin engine over the top. Heading east. Omni Air, wow. So, for all you, um, all you uh, artists out there, folks, be it, be you aware that Airbus, okay, listen to me very carefully. I will say this a little um, Airbus are now putting out a um, a competition for uh, budding artists to create and design the family AIB uh, 350 freighter uh, livery for Airbus. Um, there is actually a link. Can we put that up on the feed, Jilly, or, or is that uh, not possible? Well, I'm sending it to you. Oh, oh, who was it? Who was it asking about the inboard? Anthony Kidd, uh, Anthony Kidd. Did we lose it or, is, or, or did it just drop? Okay, uh, Anthony Kidd, I will try that once again. Um, GP, let me just send you this. Uh, I'm going to send the link and we're going to post, we're going to pin the link, folks, uh, for any budding artists out there. Um, and this is from Airways Magazine. So Anthony Kidd, why does the A380 only use inboard thrust reversers? Firstly, um, they are only equipped with inboard thrust reversers. They don't have thrust reversers on the outboard engines. In the, um, in the, in the design process, um, it was very quickly established due to the number of braking wheels uh, that the A380 has, uh, 16 I think in total, or 14, one of the two, but a lot of braking. And when you consider that each brake has a, a round between four and six discs uh, in that brake assembly unit, uh, then multiply that over the amount of, of, of wheels that is that they are braking with. Um, Airbus, even though the Airbus is such a huge aircraft, uh, they, 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 they realized that the braking power 
uh, together with uh, the uh, ground spoilers, which are enormous uh, on the A380 wing, they didn't actually need to have inboard, uh, ha have any reversers at all. So that was their original design um, uh, 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 after, after a lot of, um, you know, uh, wind tunnel tests and all that kind of stuff. Um, but they felt that the power, the braking power of the A380 alone, along with its uh, ground spoilers, was enough to bring the aircraft to a stop. However, uh, it's, it's obvious that the operators, you know, the, the launch customer and uh, other operators who were ordering the uh, A380 basically turned around and said, no, 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 no. You've got to give us something uh, in, in the instance of a, of a, of a, of a, of a, of a massive brake failure. Uh, and as a result of that, they um, compromised and um, opted for inboard reverses on the A380. Contrary to what I used to say when I started Big Jet TV, and that was, my thought was, uh, the reason why they didn't have outboard reverses was because the engines overhung the runway edge and therefore created a lot of um, a lot of debris that could potentially be ingested by the engines. That was not, that was very soon, I, think, I, I, I don't know where I actually read it from or whether somebody told me or what, but uh, that's the reason why the A380 only has inboard reverses. Uh, so you can go and tell that to all your mates now. Nigel Warren getting on a plane home tonight. What's got GP? Oh my okay. god, Gulf Air Retro. Wow, Phoenix ascending. Oh, Gulf Air Retro, yeah, nice, okay. Always think of the TriStar. Isn't it funny what you find out when I was uh, working on the roof of the van? Uh, yesterday, and the neighbour popped out. She said, "You know, how are you doing and all that?" I said, oh, "She turns out she's a ex-cabin crew with British Airways. Used to fly the Tri-Stars." So that's uh, that's a case of um, derated reverse thrust. Obviously, he selected uh, quite a late um, exit from the runway, so therefore doesn't have to deploy the, the reverses. Uh, they're just literally uh, opened for a, just in case there is a, a sudden emergency and they need to bring the thing to a, a sudden stop. But uh, yeah, everything done on the, uh, just goes to show the braking power of these aeroplanes, folks. Go and look up aeroplane um, jetliner braking system or something like that you'll see uh, how um, how amazing uh, the, the braking power is when you look at each assembly uh, which is also very interesting that uh, they have a quick uh, a rapid change system of these uh, of, of brake units these are electrical brake systems on the uh, on the Boeing 787. It's more, it's more like an E-Jet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the 787. With the amount of uh, technology that's built into it electronically. Middle East Airlines A330, it's gotta be an old ship, hasn't it? Right, turn So there you go, folks. Uh, anybody who, uh, any of you uh, budding designers out there, I, I actually, you know, I've got a couple of ideas which I, I was thinking might give you some kind of like uh, insight as to how my mind works. Um, one was a bit like the Cargo Lux one, but the other one was a bit like some of the, um, 
there are some it would be a cutaway of the inside of the aircraft you know the, the cargo door and then um, a bit like those models that you get where they, they they're cutaways and you can see inside the airplane but this would be a obviously um, artwork on the side of the aircraft to show the the capability the carrying capability uh, put an engine in there uh, got anything on approach GP just catching this seven, uh, triple seven going out that's all okay okay let's do an update let's uh, let's get an update on that cafe 747 freighter we've got a dash 8 freighter inbound folks uh, originated in Hong Kong uh, in from Dubai, not from Dubai as we know it. Oh yeah, look at that man, look at that. Oh, oh! Yeah man, that pilot's got no clue what he's just, he or she has just left behind and given us joy in watching man. How awesome was that? Ross Mason. Okay, just south of Vienna, we're hearing the Cafe 747 freighter originated in Hong Kong, uh, inbound from Dubai, and I believe she's carrying electrical goods. I, I can only think that that would be the case. Um, she's probably done a stop off in Dubai to drop off uh, uh, a few pallets of iPads. Wow, people loving that, Ashley, Puss in PJs, Mrs. H. Uh, Paul Skilling, Sandy Humby, Nico, uh, High Fly Spotter, Alexandra Wood, Toby Fuck 15, uh, Shari Helia, Rachel Lofthouse, uh, Adrian Lamb, good afternoon to you. Um, Andy P, nice one, Jerry, Matthew Bentley, Melody, Basil Sims, Graham Hepburn. It is an amazing sight, isn't it? Uh, to see uh, uh, of the action of pressure over and under the wing that's that's creating that uh, molecules of water being squeezed to the point where it's just missed uh, az racer 321 um cx7 just passing over oh vienna walked in the cold air Freezing breath on the window pane, lighting. Okay, this got got 380 inbound. So let's get this one um, over Vienna. There she is. There she is, just south of Vienna. I've got her now, folks. Uh, look her up. In from DWC Dubai, that is uh, 747-8 Cathay Pacific 747. Um, I would like to say and pre-warn you, there's a very good possibility she will land on the southern runway uh, and do what we know we know as a, um, a rogue arrival. Reason being is because it kind of makes sense, seeing as uh, the cargo terminal is over there. Lee Hesp, superb floofage, this is what we like, yes. Uh, Louise Catling Melia. Um, yeah, don't worry folks, that's why I'm keeping a, a good close eye on departures as well, uh, especially A330s, 777, 877s, 777s, just, just and 380s of course, uh, where you get that uh, incredible, I mean you get it on the, you get it on the, the smaller jets as well, but um, it is just a, a, an incredible thing to see uh, uh, Bev Charles, Qatar 777, did that coming over me the other day, was amazing. Valerie Dickens. Um, okay, so Valerie Dickens, welcome back, Valerie. Uh, obviously, that does happen from time to time, where we get, um, where, where folks, um, you know, uh, have to change their card and 
card expires and all that kind of thing. So uh, I get a bit of a gap in their membership. Right, OK, let's have a little look at this one. Um, OK. OK, this 777 heading to JFK. So we should get a tight right bank and some floofage. I think she's got, yeah, we've still got an aircraft on the runway now. So here we go. Here comes the turn now. Rated. Runway's perfectly dry. All road surfaces around here at the moment are perfectly dry, but uh, again, wow, look how low that 380 is going out, man. the floof over the wings of a 380 can reach all the way up to the top deck as well which is incredible to see looking out over that wing and then all of a sudden it just disappears in a mist. Okay, 350 on approach. So like I said, folks, get involved if you want to get involved in that, uh, uh, the Airbus, who knows what, um, what they're going to choose and who's good, but they are putting it out there for tender to uh, in a competition they are not going to use their in-house design team at this stage from what i'm hearing anyway uh, so that's great news coming out and well done to uh, to Air, uh, airbus as well uh, for making that competition happen uh, interesting also in the news is that cargo lux have uh, inked an agreement for the purchase of 10 7 Seven seven dash eight freighters, uh, the the triple seven X as she's otherwise known, uh, with an option for six more. So that's a big deal for Boeing and also for Cargo Lux, showing that they're still massively uh, committed. And whether that will in time mean the retirement of some of their seven, their uh, older seven four seven freighter fleet. Oh, here we go, here we go.
Oh, gracious, man. Gracious indeed. Nicely done, sir or madam. Bit of reverse action there. Little bit. Big XWB engines. Looking good, man. So here's an interesting uh, a, a bit of news for all you uh, sort of like real tech heads out there in terms of your meat trilogy and all that kind of thing. Uh, the British Airways are, um, they've had successful trials with a, a company called Nav Flight Services. Uh, and basically the system, uh, Navlink, as it's called, Navlink Wind more, uh, more uh, correctly, uh, updates its 320 family of aircraft uh, to improve operational efficiency on the flights. In other words, on approach of the aircraft uh, to give them more accurate information on winds and therefore able to avoid uh, um, utilising the engines more. Uh, therefore, um, saving fuel really. Um, it says here the use of more accurate and up-to-date wind data within the flight management computer enables British Airways to reduce carbon emissions by flying a more optimal descent profile uh, and the technology will save and get this over 3,000 tonnes of CO2 a year on short haul flights. How about that folks? Um, so improving the descent pattern um, to avoid winds or at least uh, improve the efficiency of the aircraft's descent. So nice one to lav Navlink. Not sure if they're a British company or I think they might be a British company. Hopefully they are. Always good to see a uh, as a uh, blue going out. Is that 3.30? Just, uh, yeah, here we go. I actually dreamt last night, didn't I, that uh, they flipped and operated the 3.30 Neo without telling us and um, I saw it in the sky. But not very happy about that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Anything on approach, GP? And of course, the uh, A339 the Neo variant of this aircraft with an all new, completely new wing, um, including that huge, great big, long extended blade on the uh, on the wingtip, as it's as it was called at its uh, during its prototype stages. It was called the blade. We saw it at, uh, at an air show in Germany. Had no idea what it was, wh whether it was just a technology that was being tried and tested on the current uh, CEO models. Wow, man, look at that. Oh, my God, it's just insane, that is, man. That's just insane, man. Just goes to show the uh, severity of, of how all the, all the atmospheric pressure that's going on around the aircraft. Always, what's that, GP? Yeah, 
Oh, is that is that 3.30 about to push? I'm wondering, is she on radar, folks? Squiddle! Uh, John Singleton, they'll try their best to go around here. Of, 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 of course, the, you know, I existing um, uh, radar systems, which is what is in the nose of the aircraft, which is why it's called the Ray Dome, um, in the very front of the aircraft is the weather radar system, which uh, gives the pilots a very accurate idea of, uh, of weather. Uh, we're talking about storms, heavy rain, etc., etc. Um, what Navlink are working on is, is winds. Um, because I think all that at the moment, uh, and please pilots let me know, uh, at the moment these, uh, these aircraft are given wind call-outs by the air traffic control. Um, it's not something that the aircraft detects, I don't think. Um, they're only able to uh, determine whether it's likely to be heavy winds due to the uh, how severe the uh, what how severe it shows up on the weather radar that's on the uh, the screen inside the cockpit. LA girl, good afternoon to you, John Driscoll. Yes, I did. Yeah, and it got some beautiful wing fluffage just now. Okay. Uh, Paul Copeland, yes, BA380 still parked on remote stand. Not a good sign, I have to say, for uh, for the poor folks that are on board that aircraft. Turkish Triple Seven touching down now. Quite heavy, man. Oh yeah. Here we go. Pacific increasing their daily schedule at London Heathrow just caught their uh, well just missed their 777 going out um, just before we went live which is always a great shame because uh, she was parked right where you're looking now Louis Axon I think the thunderstorms will miss us in Bournemouth oh okay okay seeing a little bit of um, is that a bit of precip on the uh, on the horizon there, GP? Yeah, and it's sort of headed in this direction, isn't it? So we are expecting some heavy duty uh, downpours, folks. I'm going to kind of get myself set up for it. I need to put me um, John McEnroe wristbands on. You cannot be serious. That ball was in. Oh, great. Oh, brilliant. Is that coming my way? <laughs> oh, us. it's quite exciting in a funny sort of way. <laughs> High fly spider. Tony, uh, have they got probe sensors that give wind and speed variables attached to the aircraft? Will they get uh, airspeed is, is uh, one, of the, um, one of the nodes that is attached to the side of the aircraft. Airspeed indicator. Uh, so you've got your, and then that's calculated with ground speed uh, and air speed, all that kind of thing. I'm not sure that they've got sort of like, uh, um, I don't know, uh, Tony, uh, let me know. Uh, Graham Hepburn, what would happen if the thrust reversers were deployed too early? Uh, Graham, are you talking about before they touch down? Um, yeah, it would cause some some some. Uh, quite severe issues in terms of the aircraft probably stalling I would imagine or at least uh, dropping altitude very very quickly oh Alison Francis very sorry to hear that Moon Sue Warner just been checking lightning maps not seen so many storms in one concentration for a long time and it's all coming this way oh listen to that triple 
So you just sit back and enjoy your warm, cosy lounge or office or wherever you are, folks, and let me take the strain of, um, <laughs> of getting bombarded. Got it, I've got it. Thank you. Is it? Wow. Emirates 380, she's empty, man. Well, not empty, but light. Now this, she'll make us sort of a 20, 20 degree turn to the right and then she'll just basically head straight. Normally that's the procedure for their departure. Um, and that's when we should get some floofage. Oh really? Okay, now here we go just before she hits the cloud. Here we go. Boiling on the wings, look. Dispersing the cloud, man. Look at that. A downwash. Like closing the curtain behind it. Wow, how cool is that? 380 still sitting at gate. Is that on radar still, that, uh, that VA 380? Uh, Superfly Steve, all airliners have wind speed and direction on the PFD. Okay. Is that is that from onboard... Uh, Sensors? Is that from sensors or is that based on um, either their own, well, would be their own input, but. Uh, oh, okay, well, they do then in that case. Thank you, um, Superfly Steve. sure how that how that's calculated um, I mean obviously yeah I guess because you're traveling in a very fast you're traveling very fast in, in a straight line aren't you um, so I'm guessing the sensors must be I can't think how those sensors would operate to be perfectly honest with you Maybe me being a bit stupid, but I don't know. Um, I'm a bit uh, flummoxed. How can uh, 
how can an aircraft that's travelling at 600 odd mile an hour calculate what the wind speeds are other than the air speed itself of the travelling object? You see what I mean? I'm a little bit... I'd love somebody to explain that to me, uh, how, that, how that technology operates. Um, obviously this new Navlink... Oh, here we go, look. Whoa. I mean, I know that during uh, during the no it calculates what it's got nothing to calculate, has it? <laughs> it's not like it's got a side wind calculator or instrument that that that's because it's traveling at high speed forwards isn't it it's going forward okay uh rolls royce engineer it's based on the indicated airspeed and ground speed okay i'm with you yes okay that's yeah, no, there is no sensor. It's based on it's the it's the flight management, the FMC calculating, making that. Or because the not because they drop they drop probes, they drop probes, don't they? Um, and and maybe they do have yeah sensors on the aircraft that can calculate. Um, I'm just a little bit. Okay, but that doesn't. Um, thank you, Paul MK. Wind speed is the vector difference between the. Air... I'm sure this is uh, from Google or something. Wind speed is the vector difference between the airspeed and the ground speed. On a perfectly still day, the wind speed is zero and the airspeed is equal to the ground speed. Uh... Well, airspeed is the speed at which you are travelling at, isn't it? And the aircraft, the object, is travelling at. That is the indicated airspeed. The IAS, is it not? Um, so in, that's the indicated speed of the object that you're that you're calculating it with. Then you take your speed, the wind speed on the ground, as an indication, and then obviously make your differences between it. I, I was never great at all that kind of stuff at school. Seventeenth mustard. I think the bigger question is how can something that travels at 550 mile an hour be late? <laughs> Tony, don't worry about it. It's a great. I think that's great, uh, Tony. Thank you for bringing it up. Um, okay, uh, not long 55. Lima Echo Bravo had a, a last second slot change. Only way to return was taxi down the runway. Slot, slot now is 16.01. Oh, it missed its slot. Blimey. Oh, dear, oh, dearie me. Oh, dear. It's a lot of very unfortunate, happy customers. TCC, how does the plane know its ground speed so high up? I think it's calculated by the by the Earth, isn't it? Isn't it the actual rotation of the Earth itself versus the speed at, at altitude, and then it it, it, it I, I don't know. It's got GPS, yeah, yeah. So in other words, if it's if it's travelling at 550 mile an hour in the air, it'll probably be travelling at like about 700 mile an hour on the ground. I think that's the way round, or is it is it is is it is it less on the ground and higher in the air? I don't know. I think it's probably because of the depending on whether it's got tailwind as well. All those kind of things factors have to be uh, taken into consideration. Uh, Graham Hepburn, where is LEB now? LEB is right there, Graham, uh, awaiting its slot, which is uh, 
a lot of disgruntled passengers, I have to say. TCC got a grade D in A-level physics. Wow, lucky to even get that far, mate, to be honest with you. But, uh, according to my, my, my curriculum vitae uh, that I handed to, um, to uh, uh, potential employers uh, earlier on in life, I got maths, physics, maths, physics, English, geography, art, and technical drawing uh, O-levels. Uh, <laughs> Truth is, I've got no qualifications whatsoever, um, apart from a grade C in art. <laughs> Techni I loved technical drawing though. Um, just, you know, the calculations and all that you had to do. I just liked doing the drawings, they were brilliant. Bits of engineering. And Past physics, wow, that's a big one to pass though, isn't it? Physics, mate, that's a big one to pass. <laughs> uh, Andy Cameron, legacy shows any more in the pipeline? They are, uh, they're an interesting watch. That's a good point, actually, GP. We must. Uh, we must, um, I think, um, we must do another one. We just, it was just timing really um, with the Virgin thing, yeah. Um, so we will be, we, we will do more legacy shows, folks. And when we say legacy shows, of course, we mean from back in uh, uh, Big Jet TV uh, legacy shows. And we will uh, interlink that uh, during Christmas time, I think, uh, we will do a, a home show with a slideshow. Um, looking at uh, 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 aviation from 1977. Wow, I got my Namet maths and English as a boy entrant into the Navy at 14. Fair play, man, fair play. What a, what a, what a great achievement, what a great achievement, wow. Got a great email from. Uh, have you got that, Jilly? That we can. Uh, it's that private 320 in it. Blimey, he's been sitting at the runway for a long, long time. Aero Mexico. This thing should scream its fan blades off. Here we go. Hope those reverses up. Here we are. That's what's called a cold stream system, folks. And as far as I know, uh, it basically shuts off the, the air being passed through the engine or through the, the, the bypass section of the engine and out through the sides and forward uh, by the front fan blades, by the main fan blades. Is that starting up? Here's something starting. Oh, is that? <laughs> well, I mean, there's a there's a there's a, there's a big. Uh, so, so sorry for uh, preempting it, folks. But around air, I was under the. They, these guys are flying in with. They don't. They're not allowed to refuel at this end uh, with their Ryan air. They have to um, fly here and back on full tanks, which is quite interesting, isn't it? Really, as well. And, and another. Uh, Another good thing about the A330, and I'm guessing all these aircraft, the fact that she is flying on full tanks. Um, I'd imagine she's going to probably touch down quite early and give it give it a full uh, a full load of reverser because uh, she's going to be quite heavy. She can't refuel at this end due to uh, uh, diplomatic reasons, we believe. 
Uh, the one from that, uh, somebody saying how fear of flying and all that. I think it was the most recent one you sent me. You read out. Joe Thompson, Singapore triple, uh, 7.38 minutes out. What's that, GP? Did what? Iran Air. There she comes. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Obviously, uh, very well calculated for the fuel on that aircraft. That's called the um, trap door reverses or uh, clamshells, as I sometimes call them. And that is, I believe, uh, something that is powered by the core of the engine in terms of the, uh, the air that is um, pushed out of those clamshell reverses is, uh, is pushed forward. Ah, just punching the bottom of that cloud. Still waiting for LEB, the taxi, going out of 1600. Oh, Jill Blakeney, Jerry, did you hear that JetBlue have bought out Spirit? Interesting. Air India. Dar Sam, Dar Smy, saying thanks for an en en entertaining time. Pie and mash for dinner. <laughs> Trent 700 thrust reverser is only air from the bypass section. Dom H saying, okay, so I'm completely wrong. It's air from the bypass section, so it is from the uh, the main fan blades, the front fan blade assembly. Um, so therefore, I'm guessing that there is no core induced um, reverser thrust reverser system because I'm pretty sure that the the cold stream system, which is given that name. Thanks, Don. So what he's basically saying there is that the um, the f the the, um, the the front fan blades that are the part that you can like, basically see. Um, It closes off the bypass system and uh, bypasses it through those reverses uh, and through the and we're going to see all of that in action folks when uh, when the rain comes uh, you get a much clearer indication of how these uh, thrust reverses work and you'll clearly see then why they are called reverses. As in, um, acting in the opposite direction that they're normally used to. Okay, Jeffrey Foddy, there we go. Wind speed the aircraft is passing through is the difference between the GPS indicated speed, which is the ground speed, yes, and the pilot indicated airspeed. 
uh, a pito indicated airspeed there we go but we're talking about wind uh, what we're talking about that's wind speed indicators uh, Jeffrey I think we're getting a little bit confused here what we're talking about with Navlink is the uh, is the 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 wind uh, the winds and what direction they're blowing in and uh, what speed they are blowing at a specific time uh, on approach for an aircraft so that they can avoid um, or uh, so that they can avoid on the descent this is on the descent into into well mainly into London Heathrow here at the moment I'm guessing but um, yeah we, we the the the, air, the the speed of the aircraft is calculated, obviously, uh, as we as we've talked about there. Oh yeah, yeah. When it's wet, that's going to be awesome to watch, folks almost as uh, as fascinating as those uh, the the uh, the aerodynamic effect that you get over the wing that you can see from from the moisture air molecules oh cool Burn. I genu genuinely never knew how the thrust reversal worked and I overhauled the IAV V2500 for 11 years. Graham, there we go. And the IAV, uh, the IAEV 2500 uh, that uh, Graham's talking about there is what is uh, still used uh, very commonly amongst uh, A3, um, Airbus A320s uh, like that one over there. Three... Uh, 319s, 320s, even 321s, the older 321s. Uh, that's the IAE, International Aero Engines, I believe it is. So uh, consortium between, I think Rolls-Royce built a specific, maybe Rolls-Royce engineer could let us know that. Um, I think they might have had involvement with the combustor of the IAE. Um, but that is also uh, operating a cold stream system. Now, that might be um, using the core uh, thrust, I don't know, um, with the IAE. Maybe different than the, um, the Trent 700 that we've seen. Of course, the new Trent 7000 has a sliding door system, uh, much like all the uh, modern engines that you see nowadays. So there we are, great worked on that engine. Wow, how cool was that? What a, what a, I, I bet it's just, I mean, I, the, the smell of an engineering workshop, especially uh, an aviation engineering workshop, um, because you will get the smell, especially if it's engines that you're dealing with, you will get that smell, you do get that smell of kerosene and oil, um, that mixture of, of metals and alloys. We did, we did start up. No, Salt Lake City, Salt Lake City. Okay. What, the one that we started the show on? Oh. Oh, Graham Hepburn, uh, Rolls-Royce built the high pressure, high pressure compressor. Uh, that is the, uh, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, high pressure compressor is the very back end of the engine, which basically is, uh, uh, controls the shaft, which uh, uh, controls, uh, rotates the forward fan blade assembly. It sounds a little bit um, odd that the part in the back would because it's all a lot of it's contra rotating as well um, but um, the high pressure compressor I think is the uh, is yes 
let's just get this Jow triple touching down. He could make a bit of a racket. Because there's different um, segments to, to these big engines, all these jet engines. Low pressure compressor. Um, the combustor, obviously, is the, uh, where, the, um, where all the action happens. The spark, the bang. Was that? One more left turn. One more left turn. Come on. Didn't he? Hands in pockets. Yeah. some rain man we need some rain you can see it approaching G Max C is a new member welcome G Max C it's the K-lift system that they use for uh, getting the belly freight and also of course uh, passengers luggage baggage Steve Drake, MLH. Will I get a sticker and a selfie if I find you in Boston? MLH, of course you will, my friend. Um, I feel very humbled when people come up and ask for a selfie, folks, because I'm just a normal person like all the rest of you. We're just all together having a good time, aren't we? Um, and that's... Jan's views. We don't see as many uh, KLM nowadays. Any reason? Um, I think we're just missing them, uh, Jan. I think they're. Uh, I think we've um, we've had one go out recently. It's pretty. It's... HP compressor is the core. HP rotor. It's a full. It's full of small blades and vanes that compress the air into the diffuser where it is ignited with the fuel. Okay, so the HP HP compressor is the core. Okay, but the core has uh, elements to it, does it not? High pressure, intermediate, and uh, low pressure, isn't it? Isn't it? Or low pressure, intermediate, and high pressure. Uh, there are different segments of the of the of the compressor. Is that not right? Uh, of the core, sorry. Oh, right, okay. So Rolls Royce didn't have any. Uh, 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 hold on a minute. Uh, Concord 444, Robert Baker, Ling King Horn. Uh, just going to get this. Sorry, folks, I'm missing the uh, technical stuff. Oh, go around. the run. 
Oh, OK, so apparently I'm hearing that uh, Schiphol has a cap on numbers, on passenger numbers. That's possibly why we're not seeing so many uh, KLM uh, movements at the moment. Uh, Big P, LFC, Ian Squirrel, Stuart W. Uh, Jimmy Schiphol has a cap. There we go. Uh, uh, D Derby tracking a massive storm. Uh, Green Acres just had a report from the south coast near Bournemouth Thunder, lightning and heavy rain. Um, okay. Uh, Philip Jones, Cafe 747, south of Frankfurt. Thank you. Uh, Rab H. Uh, British Airways 2823 had fumes in the cabin. Yes, we had that earlier on. Um, GM, uh, GMAC C, I worked for Rolls Royce and built the high pressure compressor module. Uh, there we are, modules, not segments, modules. Um, uh, I built the high pressure compressor module at our facility in Scotland. Oh, oh so it was the high pressure compressor module. Uh, that Rolls-Royce worked with. The V2500 was a joint venture with Pratt & Whitney. The HPC is the heart of the engine, the high-pressure compressor. Yes. Uh... Just that. Okay. Okay, so the low pressure and high pressure are, uh, are the forward sections, uh, the forward components of the engine. Um, let's just have a look here. I'm just trying to see that. I want to get this right because uh, obviously we've got so many talented and knowledgeable people here, especially people who work for Rolls-Royce and uh, GMC and people like that. Uh, I want to. Uh, it's, it's always good to know kind of what you're talking about. Or um, so obviously fan blade assembly right at the front, the main fan blade assembly. Low pressure compressor is uh, behind that. Then the um, then the blades get smaller and smaller and squeeze the air. Uh, the high pressure compressor is behind the low pressure compressor. Um, the combustor is then where all the uh, the action goes on with the. Uh, with the, the the injectors the spark um into the into that squeezed air um then low pressure and high pressure turbines that are at the back that's what i was getting confused with it's the low pressure and high pressure turbine which drive the shaft that could that that, that turns the blades uh, i think the forward blades that is and it is contra rotating as well i believe i might be wrong in that but thank you anyway to everybody who's uh, who's getting involved in that really uh oh yeah 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 i've got a jumbo right at the top of me yeah right over the top wow from louisville to cologne folks and of course we are heading out to Louisville at a uh, compressors at the front turbines at the back I think that's what uh, but it is it is all to do with the suck squeeze bang blow um, but that all comes out the back. But interestingly enough, the rear end of the engine, I believe the uh, the turbine, uh, that rear section is what's connected to the gearbox, possibly, which drives the front blades. Um, I think so. Probably completely wrong. <laughs> Thanks, folks. OK, we've got a BA crew. Ian Caldwell, uh, son Jamie, is part of uh, the air crew on Steve Drake. Yes, Steve. 
Push it up. Push it up. Seriously, dude. Trying to get reboot. Trying to reboot. Oh, we're not going to be able to before this. Sorry, folk. Jordan Chan, welcome to Premium. Now we have somebody, uh, Jamie's coming in from Sofia on the BA Bluebird landing now, Sandy Humby saying. Cool. And here it is. It's not its official name, Bluebird, folks. We actually we gave it that uh, we gave it that name. <laughs> it's quite apt, though, isn't it? Speedbird and Bluebird kind of works, doesn't it? Even though it should be Greenbird, isn't it? Look what's coming! Look what's coming! <laughs> you better be really dumb. You're gonna get it! Look at the uh, ANA.
Rolls-Royce engineer to drive auxiliary units, fuel pumps, generators, oil pumps, hydraulic pumps, etc. Is that to do with the... Uh... Yeah. Welcome, Chicky. A sailor mic, thank you. ANA triple next in. Clean approach. Wow. Based on the wind direction, GP, I think I think that's going to miss me. I think it's going to go straight over the top of me, uh, straight past me on the right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> nah, that's what we want, man. Oh, really? Oh, that's a shame. Okay, a little bit of a, a hold up here for Terminal 5. Yeah, we've got a uh, we've got a bit of a a queue um, for this is this is something that we saw a while back, wasn't it? Look at that! Actually, having to uh, circle Bluebird there, or are they going to put her in at Terminal Three? Are they just burning off some time there? Graham Laidlaw, uh, LEB is pinging now. So uh, the 380 that had a, um, it missed its slot, folks. It was not a, uh, it um, rejected the takeoff um, purely down to the fact that it had missed its slot. Sandy Humby. Um, there we go, also confirming it's just come on radar. Sailor Mike, can you buy a die cast of that BA Blue livery? I think you probably can by now. Uh, go to Aviation Retail Direct and uh, you should be able to um, to, to get yourself a, um, a die-cast model of that uh, bluebird, as we call it. Oh, Joe Thompson, Singapore slinger, is 10 minutes out. Thank you, folks. Leroy, what will be first, Cafe or the rain? 44 minutes out for the Cafe Pacific 747-8. Unfortunately, folks, I think you'll find that they will bring her in rogue. Uh, they'll bring her in uh, bring her in on the southern runway. Oh, it's, just, it's, it's a 777, is it? Oh, okay. Okay. Cathay 747, which we are tracking, folks. She is just south of Maastricht in Holland now. Somewhere I always remember flying with my dad to uh, one time on his DC-8 from Gatwick, which was crazy. Um, I think that was to pick up uh, um, flowers and there was an old meteor, a uh, wrecked meteor at the side of the runway. I always remember that. We had a bit of a wait, a stopover while they uh, loaded the aircraft. So I went and uh, sort of like investigated the meteor. Try to get myself a couple of bits of um, memorabilia, but very difficult when you're like 11 years old and you ain't got any, ain't got any cutters or spanners or screwdrivers or anything, will you? Really. 
north of Liège. Susan New. A Rolls-Royce engineer, I was answering the question, why do engines need, these engines need gearboxes? Ah, there we go, yes indeed. And he's uh, rightly saying that it is to um, drive um, ancillaries, you know, like pumps and systems and all that kind of stuff. A little uh, Taron 318 going out there. Thank you, Rolls-Royce engineer. It's not like they select first gear, second gear, third gear. <laughs> nice big American trip pushing back for us. Robert Mendez loves the worldwide journeys, but it's good to be back at London Heathrow. Always good to be back at London Heathrow when we come back from overseas, folks. Well, that's the way I feel anyway. Always, definitely when I touch down at Heathrow, I feel like I'm home because obviously I've either been used to seeing you know, lots of American carriers and um, the odd British Airways. That 767 could uh, create a little bit of floofage. So killing a bit of time, these, uh, these BA jets at the moment. And Bluebird is one of them. Let's just follow this 767 out, because uh, that'll make a right turn, Clyde. Oh, going left. substantial uh, weightage on there. Steve Buchan, uh, Steve Bucken, Bluebird is 95 pounds on that website, on the website. Yeah, they'll do a deal, mate. They'll do a deal. Triple uh, seven styling up. Kevin Mottershaw, big storms, um, windy app. <laughs> um, on the way soon, they're flashing up over Le Havre and just hitting the UK coast. You can actually see the contrast now of these big aeroplanes. You can see that all that all that stuff coming to, coming my way. In fact, I reckon I've got literally minutes, Jilly. I can see it on the horizon now. I can see the the, the rain approaching me literally. That's the front, that's basically the front that's uh, 
coming towards me, folks, going to uh, envelop me. And I can feel the air cooling already. And off there in the distance, you can see that bank of rain that's headed my way. Thanks to Mr. Whittle and his Gloucester Meteor, who would not be enjoying things like this today. Yes. I think it was the Gloucester Meteor, wasn't it? It was the, oh, you can feel that wind picking up, mate. Here we go. Hold on to your heads, boys. You're gonna get it. Okay, I need to face the, um, everything is waterproofed up. It's a standby, folks. Just gonna have to quickly move this a little tad that way so that I can, uh, save it then. So LEB should be pushing any moment now, shouldn't it? In fact, I tell you what, sorry, excuse me. I do apologize. Got the rain jacket that's going on now. Aviation retail direct. Oh. GN Man, John Kemp. I've flown twice on the 747, once with United and the other was with Virgin. What a plane, I'm guessing you're saying then, John. That's interesting. They've got a, they got a bit of a, um, a queue down at departures as well. American 777 going a very odd route to, uh, to the runway. Bramley, Storm's heading your way from New Forest area, probably with you in an hour or so. Well, I'm getting myself ready now, folks, uh, so that I am ready. I've got me uh, John McEnroe uh, um, wristbands to go on. Uh, in fact, hold on a minute, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll put that headset. Same okay. Graham Hepburn, thank you, sir. I can watch this all day. There she goes, there she goes. Ready for action, folks. Get ready for it, Jerry. Oh, there's a storm coming. BA uh, Miami BA380 pushing back. There it is. Or is that another one? That's a lot of very disgruntled passengers. Uh, good afternoon, Alex Scarisbrick. Uh, home after a long day at work. Looking forward to relaxing and enjoying the wild weather. Yeah, you do that, I'll just take it on. 
Uh, I am prepped though, folks. I am ready. Um, we have everything in hand. <coughs> Kushawalam, good day to you. Uh, TCC, yes, the passengers did stay on the plane all this time. What an absolute, uh, yeah, an absolute shame for them. Even as a, uh, even as a, uh, an avid aviation fan, you never like to spend an extra hour on a plane that's going to be, um, you know. Well, what have you got? A nine-hour flight to Miami, is it? Good afternoon. <laughs> Singapore Triple Seven next to land, Sandy Humby. Thank you, Sandy. James the drummer. Jerry's ready for anything. Yeah, we are. Man. We are. We're ready. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> Just hope this rain jacket is easy. Oh, nice. Just a nice little slight adjustment to bring it on down there. Come on, let's get some water on this runway. Rated. Little if any reverse thrust application. See, his engines are not started yet because the uh, horizontal um, stabilizer, see the flaps there. Once the engines start, uh, the first engine starts, that will power up the hydraulic systems, bring those um, elevators in line. The um, ailerons are also in a down position at the moment. Flaps are still or have they started those edges? I don't know. climbing steep to avoid that weather. It's heading straight for that cloud. Needs to possibly make another turn as well. She's flying straight into that, uh, that cell. So you'll have to be patient with me, folks, when it starts hammering with rain. Oh, funky shot. Funky shot. Margie Ann lives in Anchorage. Foxy B, Rev H, Helen Clapp. Andy P, Joe Thompson, Mike James, upgraded membership to first class. Thank you, Mike. Great to see you here. Emirates 380, number three to land, Sandy Humber. Uh, Martin Smith, keep me posted, folks. We are also, uh, don't forget, on the lookout for a Boeing 747-8, which has now 
um, crossed the channel, or, or sorry, is, is now crossing the channel, uh, nearly halfway across, uh, in from Dubai, but DWC, not DXB, um, which is the, uh, I guess, I'm guessing would be the freight uh, hub, would it be? I don't know. Um, for Dubai, I think uh, she's possibly carrying electronic goods. Uh, originated in Hong Kong. Good thing he's made his headsets fully mounted. Departure. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Graham saying that some. Uh, Darren Graham saying some pilots are asking for different departures due to weather. Yeah, and here it comes, folks. Oh, this is Ita, Ita, Ita isn't it? Wow, I can see it. We're going to get rain, I reckon, in the next few minutes. I don't reckon it's going to be any longer than that. Look, look, can you see that rain? Can you see that rain falling? Can you see that rain falling? Yeah, yeah, you can see the rain. Yeah, but I'm grounded, aren't I? I've got, I've got rubber soles on. I'm not standing on anything metal. Hey! Sticks of carbon, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the boom is alloy, but the... Uh... Oh. Craig B, Jerry, three minutes warning. Folks, now's the time to hit that like button. Come on, you miserable lot. Hit that like button right now. Uh, show some, show some sympathy. We've got 5,800 people watching. Let's get 5,000 likes. Hey, hold on. And thank you to anybody who has given us a like. Kushro. Apparently, uh, Dubai City. Was it Dubai? What city? Dubai World's Dubai World City Airport could well replace um, the main Dubai Airport. Hearing that it's uh, both a cargo and passenger facility, so it's not just a cargo hub. My apologies, but I'm still. So they mainly ha handle the freight there, though. Well, I'll just keep an eye out for the uh, for the lightning, then, Julie. Oh, just saw one over the distance, mate. Big lightning flash, big lightning flash, mate. Yeah, that was in t distance like. Um, yeah, this is getting closer. Look <laughs> at that. How long this squall's going to last, but I 
Yeah, Guildford's getting it at the moment, mate. Um, Wild Rainbow uh, is a new member. Welcome, Wild Rainbow. Calm before the storm, ladies and gentlemen. Juan Aguayo. Uh, good morning. Uh, just woke up, Jerry. Like a lettuce and ready for the show. <laughs> like a lettuce, eh? Hey, don't take the mickey out of our, pri our Prime Minister. <laughs> Lasted longer than her anyway. Uh, but there we go. <laughs> JF840, uh, lightning at Guildford now. So Guildford being in that direction, uh, I'd imagine that uh, we're going to see a little bit. John Merton. Oh, it will be, it will be dry and sunny in Colchester at the moment. I'd imagine this is all sort of like heading up this way, I believe. Um, at Intrepid Museum in New York, just saw Shuttle Enterprise and will tour a Concorde in a bit. Got to sneak some Big Jet TV t in the meantime. D bash mode, yeah. Enjoy, uh, if, if it's your first time on Concorde, it is a pretty um, a pretty crazy aeroplane to, 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 to look at, uh, to, uh, to, to, to walk on board. Um, of course, it's always um, quite, uh, whether, they've, whether they've got the, the cockpit per spec off or whether it's, uh, oh, hold on a minute, I've got to put this on. Um, I've got to put this on. Uh, folks, you are going to notice a drop in the mic. Uh, the audio, uh, my audio, should I say, just because I am Uh, I need. I will need to cover up the mic, which I'm doing now, uh, to give it some, to give it some, just to waterproof it really. Um, so, it's not the, uh, it's not the best. Sorry, folks. Cafe Pacific, come down here. What's it all about? She's been towed. Yes, she's been towed. So as soon as this rain should hit me any moment now, really, I'm expecting it. Good to hear Cathay Pacific picking up their uh, Hong Kong fully open now so they're going to be uh, increasing their flights into London, into and out of London Heathrow. Two flights a day, did you say Jeff, is it? So this American jet is probably going to uh, <coughs> possibly requested a, uh, a left turn glide as opposed to a right turn try and avoid this weather. Maybe a low departure as well. Andy Pete sounds okay. That's good. That's good. Here we go. Safe right there. Or is he going to brave it and go right? Is it going to go long and go right or go high and go right? I need to climb out pretty high. There we go, it's going left.
moment now, folks. Get sharing. Got people who are bored at home. Fancy a bit of uh, interesting uh, stormy action from London Heathrow. Not windy at the moment, anyway. Um, wow, you can really see. Bim and Bangladesh. Oh, another big flash. Steve right in the afternoon. Big carbon nacelles on those engines, man. 10 millimeter stick I had it at when I uh, went and touched the nacelle or the sliding door cowl of uh, the reverser door of, uh, of a uh... 747-8 that was way back when with, uh, with uh, logic when they had their 747 dash 8 oh, I don't want to get that flipping 380 out of here too sweet aren't they yeah looks like I'm surrounded now I'm caught in a trap I can't look back Kevin Mottershaw, it's manic on this windy hit after hit of lightning all over the coastline, uh, heading inland. Oh, great. Tom 81, 747 over South Minster. Oh, why can't you see? Oh, Sherry Helly, give me an update. 2,400 likes. Thank you, folks. Um, that's uh, almost 50% of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Obviously, uh, everybody else is uh, index fingers feeling a little bit relaxed. <laughs> Thank you, uh, very much appreciated. Uh, Dom H, absolutely no idea where we will be on the 13th of November. We hardly know where we'll be tomorrow. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, if you've got something happening, let us know. Obviously by uh, contacting us at contact at bigjet.tv. Uh, please make sure that you include all flight details and operational details, etc, etc. Um, not just a flight that's going out on the day. We need to know the timings. Uh, very important. Um, somebody actually, what was that? Was it? Wasn't that one that you sent me yesterday, Jilly? Uh, that uh, the, 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 the Virgin. Uh, Virgin. Hmm. You sent me an email. Marianne Edwards got my lightning tracker on and showing lightning over Westminster. Well, it's been lightning over Westminster for the last couple of weeks, isn't it? Hey! Craig Younger Sward, Chichester, Thunder, heading to Heathrow. Thunder, thunder, thunder! Trish, lightning are all around us on the coast. Well, we are... Um, oh, there's a big bank of rain now. I'm quite surprised I haven't been hit yet, but there's a big bank, look. He's coming straight towards us, man. Oh. Squiddell. Kevin Beast. Sandy Humble. Any Qantas planes around at the moment? Wild Rainbow. Uh, there you go, Wild Rainbow. Qantas 380 right in front of us. Uh, it parked in her usual 
um, stand. She will be towed to gate a little bit later on. Um, what's, that? what's that work going on there? Man? Oh, it's a K lift. Oh, even the crows are heading, heading for the trees. Head for the trees! I talk to the trees. That's why they put me on. Uh, Stacy Fenton, um, Lucas, get well soon, Lucas. He's nine years old. Hospital on Thursday with an infection. Now recovering at home with antibiotics. He loves watching Big Jet TV. Lucas, get well soon, my friend. Enjoy the planes. Sit back, lie back, sorry, and um, keep taking the med medication. And before you know it, you'll be up on your feet, running around playground and uh, having fun with all your mates again. Lloyd Bell tuning in from Dubai where the local time is 7.20 p.m. I'm going out BA227 Wednesday from London Depot to Washington Dulles at 11.30 a.m. Denise Brennan saying. Well don't forget folks we are traveling to Boston on Thursday so we will be bringing you a short show on Wednesday. Uh, so maybe we could get that. Maybe you could email us, please, um, Denise Brennan. Yes, I think you should do that, Julie. I think you should do that. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I think I think Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what, uh, what time are you picking the car up, Julie? John Singleton. Will W. Lufthansa 747. Super flying steam. Give it, can they? Oh, I see. Right, I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel the rain almost. I can. Storm are coming. Be ready for it, folks. Ian Miller, heavy rain and lightning in Lansing, West Sussex. Way down West Sussex way. Wow. That means that that's uh, that's all the way up here 
It's going to be about right bang on to. Well, it did say six. It said sixteen hundred, didn't it? Um, but the visibility now is is pretty is pretty low, pretty bad, and we are expecting. heavy rain. Uh, of course I've got wipes for the um, for the camera. You're gonna have to uh, be patient with me on that one as well folks because obviously I have to keep wiping the lens uh, to, uh, to get rid of the water obviously. <laughs> No, I've seen them, man. I've seen them. I've seen them. Yeah. Wasn't there a um, on TV? There was a, a, a series of storm chase stuff. It was called storm chases. So uh, it was basically a. It was one bloke on his own, and then another geezer came along as a rival, didn't he? Jerry Hellier, blue skies in Lincoln. Uh, Sandy Humby, pitch black in in um, in Brighton. Oh, did I just hear? Uh... Oh, I'm hearing thunder, mate. I'm hearing thunder. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's all right behind the couch, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at it in the distance there, man. Look at it in the distance there. Look at it coming down. Oh, my God. Okay, folks, this is what you call dedication, ladies and gentlemen. Um... This is, yeah, it's either dedication or insanity. One of the two. Now, just also be aware that when the rain comes, I'm going to have to put the phone underneath the rain gun. Underneath the arches. I'm going to have to put the, right, the phone underneath the rain cover because, obviously, I need, to get, uh, I need to get everything as uh, controlled as possible. Lovely, beautiful A330-300. Oh, here it comes now. Yo Kennedy flying in Frankfurt to 713th on Lufty 747 Dash 8 from Chicago. Lucky you, uh, Yo Kennedy. Storm over Bedfont now, Neil Camp. Yeah, they have a Faraday cage. What's called a, a Faraday cage? Um, it's, it's, it's a lining that's either in the um, in the in the um, in the alloy uh, uh, fuselages like this A330 you're seeing here. It's literally a um, a, a network uh, that basically channels the lightning out through um, what you see on the end of, of the probes that you see. Oh, there! See that? Oh, big flash, man! Um, might get the thunder. Uh, from that, get a thunder roll. Um,
static wicks that you see, you see them sometimes not that visible, but there's lots of them, usually on the end of the on the end of those um, fingers that you see, which are known as canoes, which actually house the hydraulic. I can't even see them there. There's a lot of wicks, static wicks, that are like long needle-like looking things that trail the, um, the wings and uh, the Faraday cage uh, basically channels that into those wicks and then out through those wicks. Um, and uh, it is something that is built into the mould, I believe, of the, of the Dreamliner. Maybe it isn't. Oh look, Helvetic. E2. Nice, I've flown on one of them. Did it go around in one as well? Oh, Martin Aikerman, apparently our 747 is landing zero nine left oh yeah here we go folks and somebody saying earlier what you're going to get first is the rain or the or the um or the 747 i think they're going to la i think they're going to arrive together look at the rain man look at the rain this is going to go out very low this 380 Great boy, going right. Going to Miami, isn't it? Oh, he's going to take a long run. Wants to seriously. Oh, it's going to Dallas, is it? Okay. Going to get that thing at altitude. See the water pouring off the wings already, man. Look at that. Wow. She's gone, man. Get that thing up through that cloud. And, and isn't it crazy how it, how it just, you go through this and then you just appear into the beautiful blue skies above. Oh, wow, blooming heck. Did you feel that? That's going to go bang. That's going to go bang, boys and girls. <laughs> Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Right the way over me here, man. I, and it's still seven miles away as, as well. I count. I counted seven miles. Bot, bot, boy. I said, boy. Wow. Woohoo! No, what's what? No. no. Oh, oh, it's over me now, man. It's over me now. Oh. I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable here, mate.
There's another one. Whoa. Okay folks, 747 in next. <laughs> people uh, people already uh, asking um, putting in their calls for uh, parts of equipment and clothing. <laughs> <laughs> First dibs on me hoodie apparently already. <laughs> oh yeah, it's circulating. It's circulating mate is what it is. Yeah. Jumbo jet folks! Hope for the best. Wow. Look at that, look at that rain, man. Look at that bank of rain. Look at it. Pretty impressive, man. Well, I'll tell you what, though, that looks like a real uh, calamity Jane cloud, doesn't it? Look at that. That wants to turn into a twister, that does. That totally wants to. That's twister material, that is. Look at the wind blowing that. Look at it. Hammered over there, man. Getting hammered over there, look. Moving pretty quick. Oh, look what we just missed. <laughs> okay, let's get another one. Sorry, folks. Missed the beautiful reverser example with that uh, Swiss 220. Don't worry, we'll get another one. What's next in? Okay, you need to keep me posted on what's what's inbound, GP. Okay, 
Okay, Dreamliner. Ooh, big flash. why we stand out in the rain for this kind of stuff folks might be all very glamorous in nice warm weather and all that kind of thing but you need a bit of wet runway uh, activity to uh, to really show how these engines work that system there has been uh, no, that dispersed quite quick that one there didn't it that's gone that one isn't it this is the one that's uh, looking like it's gonna, it's gonna encircle me. Kaboom! It's gone very dark here. The camera's not picking that up, to be honest with you. taxiway is still shut up there so all those gates oh they're coming in from the other end that's why I think this if I peer into here Bernard Price, I've just, I'm just down the road in Chertsey and we have just had a massive hailstorm. Well, Chertsey is there uh, to me. So, uh, hail. Well, last time we got hail was when we were waiting for a um, cargo lot. Cargo Logic 747, and I got absolutely battered by hail. That's right over the top of me, mate. Chilly, that's right over the top of me. Right. Hey! get some reverses here. that man also get what we call um, little vortexes um, which we call wizards which are picked up by these uh, especially the engines that are relatively low to the ground as well um, you sometimes get oh that was a big one
think this is. It's, I, I think this is. Uh oh. Here we go. This is. This is it. Oh my God. Here we go. Here we go. Hold tight. Oh. Hold tight. Like wants to be a twister that one. He looks like he wants to be a twister that one, doesn't he? That big bad fella there, look. are uh, hard to keep your rags dry. Oh, uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to stop this sec. Well, I don't know about that, it's stopping. Look at this big old beast over the top of me, man. Look at this big old thing over the top of me, man. Hello! Look at him, man. That wants to be a twister right there, doesn't it? It wants to be a twister, man. There's no place like home. I don't think so. I don't think so, no. Well, it won't anyway because of the. Uh, it's, it's, it's both twisters are from hot air rising, aren't they? They're from they're from warm air rising. God, fair play. Yeah, man. More aircraft waiting to uh, waiting for their gate. This guy's probably using his white blades, I'd imagine. 
note. We need a uh, no. Joke is to the right, here I am. I can see, I can see, yeah. Oh, it's, it's out of my view, it's out of my shot. Oh, easy, easy. Whoa! Big old flash in the disc. Whoa! It's going off, mate. It's going off down there. I tell you. Wow. There's another one over uh, near Thorpe Park. eye of the storm right now this thing's breaking up look at him coming towards me man look at him coming towards me yeah thing is folks that uh, let's let's um all um say thanks to these uh folks who work tirelessly without disruption on the ground in all weathers um, loaders catering um, all ground teams basically uh, doing a fantastic job keeping the airport running whilst uh, stuff like this is going on especially in the uh, in the in the deep winter conditions as well look at that look he's right over me man look at look at this look at this thing man look at him Look how low he is. Wow. That looks very... Wow. Yeah. changing shape. I take this opportunity to dry my hands and the lens of the camera.
Whoa! Someone's in a hurry. <laughs> 380. He's giving it full beans, man. Wow. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> right, and bring the phone out, folks, because uh, got a little bit of a. a um... Wow, 6,800 people liking the, the fact that we're getting. I'm getting at. I'm putting myself in danger. Wow, yeah, there was another one. So the next. this one on my right ah uh, yeah this one on the right here and look 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 look, look. you can see it coming across the uh, across the uh, airfield it's coming at me it's coming at me stand by Will W, United 8766, making a significant detour. Here we go, here it comes, here it comes. Okay, folks. Oh, hey, hey! Wow, strong smell of kerosene, man. Uh, must be an engine starting or something like that, I don't know. Mate, mate, 
maybe a glitch, flight radar 24 glitch. that one William liking the podcast thank you William thank you everybody who gave us great feedback on that as well um, just say it like it is really it's all you got to do isn't it say it like it is A lull on the south coast. Flipping it, there's not one here. Look, look at that big so and so. Oh, hey, hey, Chili, look at that, mate. That is nuts. Look at this. Look at this all coming towards me. Oh, well. <laughs> it is what it is. Dun. Alfie, you do learn. You have to be a little bit more descriptive than just can you get the BA taking off in a minute, seeing as there's about 700 of them here. Um, which, uh, which, which is the flight number, etc., etc. It's the uh, quilted, lovely quilted. Oh, let's go around. Let's go around. Let's go around, mate. I was wondering what that noise was. Let's go around. Whoa! Has he just, uh, that must have been a wind shear or something. What's that go around, mate? Virgin Dream, I've flown on that. I've flown on that jet, haven't I? 
was all about. Must have been a wind shear. Or a... Uh, Oh, and I switch back here and look at that. Oh, that's a bank and a half, that is, that's coming towards me. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. As you can probably imagine, folks, I love weather. I'm a big fan of weather. Yeah, extreme weather, not, not sort of like nice sunny days. I like stuff like this. Yeah, very much, very lively. Whoa! Boom! Here we go! Getting dark here, man. It's 17.07. The phone's going away. I do apologise. But uh, talk amongst yourselves. I thank you Oh my god, it's coming this way, man. Any moment now, man. Any moment now. Look at this. Look at it coming across the airfield. Look, look, look at the visibility just dropping, literally. Yeah. I think there might be a few... Uh, they might hold aircraft. They're still bringing aircraft in. Gotta get those runway lights on. Oh they are on. Wow. Wow, look how dark it's gone. Look how dark it's gone now. Alright, I'll get it. Here it goes, here we go, here we go, here we go. Down my arms. My, um... Oh, the sand was just getting wet. Oh. in the 
thick of it now. Which airline? Which airline? Oh! 320, yeah? Oh, that's got to be weather related. That's got to be weather related. You know, it, 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 maybe, a, maybe a pilot can answer. When they're, uh, when they're about to depart, does the onboard system give them warnings for... Uh, Does it, does it give a warning for wind shear on, on departure? Because, I mean, obviously you've got it on arrivals, but also you've got it on departures as well. I'm not seeing anything going out at the moment. Warning, wind shear, wind shear. Yeah, there she is there, there she is. I can't really see anything because of me. Oh no, that's going to be an RTO, that is. Is she going or is she... No, she's, she's not intersecting, mate, she's going. She's RTO, that's an RTO. Yeah, this is definitely... Uh, I can't wipe the bleeding... Oh my god, I can't wipe the legs because... Just because of the fact that... Whoa! Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty dark. Close, that was... That was pretty dark. Seconds after it. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the crazy thing is because uh, the lightning strike itself, the actual, the, um, the what you see, the lightning is actually going from the ground up. It's not actually coming from the sky down. It goes upwards. But also, um, you're, what you're seeing there, that flash, is not actually what you're probably not seeing on the app. You're probably seeing the actual. So this is the go around from a short while ago. It's actually become um, useless. It's what it has. Um, so what do we do? What do we do? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Big flash, man! To my left, big fork lightning. Big double bubble, bang! Yeah, 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 yeah. That was right over Brentford, mate. I think I, uh, I think I should um, just for my own um, safety. No, because not really. No. Uh, well, I can't. I have to go downstairs to get coffee and all that. I don't want to. I don't want to leave leave everybody on their own. Clear over there. <laughs> Always the optimist, they.
In it. Is that another RTO? Egypt Air. Yeah, they, 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 I think they're stopping all departures at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Brussels, bring it in. Very cape pushy, isn't it? How could you leave me when I needed you? Oh, <laughs> um, which will be departures of which runway, Jilly? See why they bring them in, why they bring these jets in on this, uh, this to my left, to the east. The weather's horrendous, mate. Yeah, but the weather to, to the east is worth, worse in the east. It's me, a cafe of Comhall. Look. Yeah, they're being told to use the runway to uh, to, to to get themselves up the other end uh, to, to turn around. Yeah, literally to turn around. Turn around every now and then. I get a little bit anxious. Then it deep into me still. Wow, look at that. Yeah, go on 
the IAEs. Well, at least I don't need a bath tonight. Look, it's clearing up over there, look. Oh, what's sad. Look at that, beautiful, isn't it, look. Isn't that lovely? Lovely. Okay, so, uh, but it's still raining. Still a little Rejected takeoff is what RTO stands for, folks. Whoa, blimey O'Reilly. I keep missing the big ones, man. There's another massive fork over Wembley Way, man. Huge, great big fork over Wembley Way. There won't be any um, approach and landing operations. It's still landing on 09s, you know. have ceased at the moment folks at London Heathrow they have paused operations so obviously a lot of aircraft will be in the holding patterns um, if you look on your flight radar app you will see aircraft that are um, currently being held well there you go there you go that's it Capu. Oh. Wembley slash Brentford. It's got to show of power. It could be out South End Way or Paddington. Look at that. Did you see that, folks? Morning. Operations on the ground have to continue. They have to continue. So all the folks out there loading, unloading, refueling, tugs, everything, they have to carry on. So fair play to them. Okay. We'll be down to one then. So that puts down to one. Okay. a little bit over there. Oh, got to start up. Oh yeah, I've seen fault lightning, mate. There's one there. There was one there. Didn't you see that? Did I get that? Watch, watch. There. Yeah, well that was a big old fork. Good job they don't have spoon lightning. <laughs> uh, four candles, please. There you go, sir.
briefly on approach. Here we go, I've got an arrival. Okay, here we go folks. Yeah. Sorry folks, I did say you had to be patient with me for the uh, Quaking ceremony. <laughs> Trying to keep it all. Trust me, there is an aircraft there, folks. See how intense the lighting is on these aircraft, these modern jet liners. So now we are on runway uh, 27 right. Um, okay, this is interesting. American triple seven. Let's just see if we get a little bit of um, Ooh, it's on top of the pops, then, isn't it? You want to watch what's, ha what's happening outside and uh, go here. Gaza. <laughs> Shut up, big nose. Oi! Who just called you big nose? Pardon me. Okay, first in, first to brave it, Air Lingus. As the weather uh, clears, but still a lot of preset. Clears to my west. Oh, I better say it now, Jilly, because I'll forget. Happy Diwali to all our friends. Um, in India, folks. Uh, for tomorrow, is it, is, it, is it over a period of time or is it just one day to Diwali? Is it a, is it a 
period of time or uh, it's on for like a week or I don't know. Diwali celebrations. A very happy The Diwali Festival, there we go, is one day and happy Diwali to all our Indian friends and of which we have many folks. Lots of aviation fans in India. There we go, come on son, get, get with it, get with it. I was going to look at the uh, Sam Castriata. How you doing? Um, apparently, the weather's going to be good. Does that mean? Is that? Does that mean good in like? Oh, going to be windy. Yeah, nice. Blasted. Quack. Oh, do I need it? Oh. Sunny, eh? Okay, so so bring bring thermal stuff. Yes, yes, yeah, sunglasses and and um, underpants. Beautiful skyline, man. Skyline, man. What's what looks like it's going back home? Okay, we have aircraft now getting back in alignment, folks. And uh, Korean Triple Seven is one of them. We've got a couple of diversions by the looks of it, or by the sounds of it. Um, I can't read your comments at the moment, of course, because I I haven't got my uh, my device in front of me. Okay, so apparently radar is an absolute mess. I'm hearing in terms of like you know aircraft. Positions are an absolute mess. Iberia taking delivery of the 500 uh, A350. Um, I think it's a 900. Their last delivery. I think they've all got. Uh, they're all 900s in their fleet. But uh, yeah, congratulations to um, Airbus and to Iberia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really need you tonight. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, that's water, wreck. Oh, that's water, mate. That's totally water. I don't know how it's, it's... Oh, well, you better. I, 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 I need a rest. Yeah, so do I. I've got nothing in the fridge apart from a six-pack of mini rolls. <laughs> Come on, Rangers, hold on. 
for a little bit so I can say at least say good, good night to everybody. Um, where's that water coming in from, I wonder? Because uh, all my leads are very well covered. Remember, always uh, remember the uh, the folks behind the scenes, and of course they are uh, our good friends up in the tower there. Nats has just announced also that they are going to be uh, back at London Gatwick. another 10 minutes and the rain will cease. Now this is a new aircraft coming breaking through the uh, cloud now I can see. Based on the fact it's got the high intensity um, strobes on it. So it's uh, possibly a 320 Neo or, or a Max, something like that. Now all okay, well from Must go for it. Wow. Yeah. Who likes a sunset? You don't like a sunset. Now I'm only falling apart. Total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> oh, that's top end then. That's top end then. Sorry about the uh, test card, folks. Uh, there's nothing I can do. I'm not going to start um, trying to. Mind you, I could just move that in the so slightly in a little bit further, so the actress in the ship. What is this? Is this a Max? Oh yeah, it's got to be because it's, it's, it's a single flasher indicating it's a Boeing. Lot Max, here we go. Lots of big heavy duty reverser action from these leap engines I'm thinking high speed man she's coming in hot wow look at that yeah So we've got aircraft returning from whence they came, folks. Uh, Dublin flight has apparently turned back due to a uh, concern over uh, fuel. No, you haven't, you haven't, you haven't missed the Korean triple. That's definitely not going to turn back. That'll, that'll divert, probably, won't it? Beautiful hues, beautiful colours. Look at that, man. Look at that. Oh, wow. Shot there, mate. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. That's like, that's like, that's like art, oh, that is, man. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Sorry, I can't read your comments, folks. I know you're probably uh, appreciating this, um, these, these pictures that are coming to you at the moment. 
beautiful skylines. No, you don't need to look at that anymore. Well, that's because that's the intensity of the uh, of the of the of, of the amount of aircraft that they're stacking, isn't it? Isn't that just down to the intensity of the amount of aircraft that they're? Okay. Departures are very few and far between at the moment. <laughs> Who's put that? That's cool. Okay, okay, okay. Even worse. Oh, come on. It's all running down my arms and everything now. Yeah, it's all gone Kate Bush. Sorry, folks. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. there she goes. There goes our star. You can, you can. Well, no, you, yeah, well, yeah. But you get a head cold, kind of. You get a head cold. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Oh, hello. We got hello. So our um, beautiful star is now giving us uh, a beautiful rainbow, ladies and gentlemen, right on the Virgin Hangar. That's for uh, Billy Holiday, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Jilly, you're going to have to call that one back because I, I can't reach for the phone. I'm going to even struggle to answer it on the headset. Let it ring as well. Let it ring. Let it ring. Oh, no. Let it ring. <laughs> so Cool. 
Got it. Wow. Some crazy, uh, crazy beautiful um, cloud formations right now over the top of me. Big old uh, cell over there. Oh, is he? Okay, we've got a DHL 757 on approach, folks. Okay, we've got some uh, we've got some heavy stuff coming in uh, before the end of the show. Now you get a perfect example of those tilting undercarriage with the triple seven when you see it panned like that. Beautiful, man. Wow. Some crazy hues. If this is a 220, which I think it is. Oh, is it a Neo? That's a Neo, sorry. It's a 320 Neo. Tap 320 Neo, sorry. Yeah. Whoa, easy, son. Okay, here we go. Get those reverses on. Dark by five o'clock next week, or dark at five o'clock. No, it's when the clocks go. When the when the, when, the, when the clocks go back, that's when it starts to get really dark. But in it, some crazy stuff there. You can see between those. Uh, attention! Attention! I can get the phone out. I can get the phone out. It's actually stopped raining. Oh, God. My phone's hanging off down the bottom there. <sighs> oh, dear, oh, dearie me. How long have you been hanging off down the bottom there? He's probably been shouting out, Jerry! I'm hanging off the charger lead! Help me! Oh, we can't hear me. We can't hear me. You all right, mate? You all right? Oh, blimey.
Okay. Yeah, folks, looks like we've uh, we've got a bit of um. Oh, what? It's on, is it? Is it on? Is it on? Is oh. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to manipulate the the, the, the lead, the connection. Nothing. No. It's not even flickering. No. It's just constant test card, is it? Yeah, I, 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 I can't I can't explain that jelly because they're, 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 it's it's water in the lining it's got to be water in the lining folks sorry oh this is 757 not very spectacular landing by this DHL 757 although I'll be 211 powered it's a great shame do you want to hear her can you hear her no you can't even hear that bleeding bus uh, listen we'll be back next week thank you for tuning in thank you for being with us uh, sorry about this uh, rather um, terrible finish, but that looks like water in the uh, in the unit, and we need to obviously deal with that um, uh, and get that dried out. So thank you very much. Look after yourselves. We'll see you next week. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend wherever you are, and enjoy the beginning of your week if you are elsewhere. Uh, and enjoy your Sunday if you're in uh, America or uh, if you're if you're in the West. Enjoy your Sunday if you're in the East. Happy Monday. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you next week, folks. Take care. Thank you very much. Look after yourselves. And um, we'll see you then. Cheers. Bye-bye. Okay, GP, you can cut. Because I need to get this stuff in there. This is not very... Uh...